Bet you thought we were through with period three, didn't you? I've got my camo hat on so you can't see me real well. But my idea here, notice how neat it is. Isn't, isn't that nice? Little kids love pulling on that hat when they're about in period three because they think that they're pulling on the hat make strange things happen like weird honking noises and stuff like that when they press your nose. Let's, let's talk a little bit more about this period three. There are some things that are very critical for you to understand, and I want to just take a moment and review some of the important terms. The first of those is the term of intentionality. During this phase, the child remains egocentric. Now, of course, egocentric uh, means that the child is self-centered, focused on self. It's okay for a child to be egocentric, but adults need to kind of grow out of that. Of course, I know there are some that don't. The child is certainly egocentric at this stage, but the child sees himself or herself as the primary cause of all activity, intentionality. Now, the power of that in this phase three is that the child can begin to try to infect or impact the environment. Uh, on object concept, the child is able to look for objects where he or she predicts they will have fallen. Uh, you notice the child begins to anticipate the positions where fallen objects will land or where they will be. And this demonstrates, of course, an increasingly sophisticated schema of objects. And then causality. The child is able to look for objects where they, the child predicts they have fallen. The child is anticipating positions. And, of course, this demonstrates this increasingly sophisticated schema of objects this idea of causality is, is pretty powerful because the child uh, takes uh, uh, believes that he or she is causing the events that are going on out there. Uh, try the old touch my nose and watch it honk routine at this time. They'll play with your nose and make it honk and have the best time until you are just completely worn out. Well, you probably can tell that Papa has his own lab around here. Little kids and grandkids, as many as the stars of the sky. And all saying, take me, Papa, take me. Well, Papa loves these little fellas and enjoys playing with them, but watching them as a laboratory. Kids are really fascinating little creatures when they're into this period three. They're beginning to understand that they can impact the environment in which they exist. We move now to period four. 